Welcome back everyone to The Crew 2. Now yesterday we looked at this monster of a Mustang and I must say I was very very impressed with it. it it's just badass all around. However there is something slightly a bit more badass than this and as promised here is part two of the major update so far for the Crew 2's inner drive. But first, I think I need to change into something a little more exotic, shall we? Oh, ho, ho. yes. Here we have, ladies and gentlemen, the Koenigsegg Yesco. Now, I had to put a break in between this because I am now, if you can see by the pause menu, which is a slight bug at the moment, it takes forever to load. Look in the top corner. I am now broke. So that's fun. But apart from that, let's dive straight into the Yesco. Now, one caveat. I already have with this is that they are rating the horsepower this thing stock as over 1200 which is the horsepower when it's not running on race fuel so I don't know what the deal is there because usually this is up to 1600 but you know we'll see how it affects it because the current top hypercar if you will in this game is sort of a mix mash if you ask some people they'll say the Bugatti Devo Magma Edition and others they will say the Porsche Carrera GT Green Flash Edition both Summit cars both quite rare the Magma was put up for a second time but the Porsche was only a one-shot deal at the time of recording this but we will see how that goes so enough knitter natter I want to see what we can do to this thing and oh my god it just sounds good so let's hop in to the customizations shall we and see what we can actually do because i've heard good things i've heard interesting things uh, right, we've got carbon, we've got some ugly ass nostrils and we've got extra carbon that takes off the green lip. Now I'm going to leave that stuck. Front bumpers, we've got some strange headlights. Even worse, it looks like it's high on glue. Uh, that just turns the front lip white turns the whole front white which looks very strange and that removes a little cut out with the same strange front headlights i'm gonna go with this one just because it's closer to normal uh front it basically just adds an extra set of canards at the front so yeah why not uh, brakes, we're going to leave the brakes. Side mirrors, we've got painted and then a Swedish flag. And sorry, Sweden, I'm going to leave it natural carbon. Uh, that just changes the colour on the side skirt. I want that all carbon, so leave that as it is. Now, the rear wing, let's see, we can paint that white, which. Eh. Oh, Lord. Um, what a weird ass wing. Now, I sort of like the stock look. God, what's happening to me? I like the stock look. Uh, right, that adds some white accents to the rear, blacks out the lights. That completely whitens the bottom. Oh, but it does add a titanium tip. Oh, I'm actually going to go with this uh, meaty boy. Interior. Oh, why can't you make it white? Oh, 
Might as well go with that. It looks the best. Oh, okay. Now I'm really broke at the top. Uh, vanity. Yeah, stick on some nice tyres. Smoke. I think I've got some green. Yes, I have got some green lightning smoke. Uh, underglows. Nope. And horns. Nope. So we are good to go right now. So it's fully maxed out at 320. All perf parts with the nitro chemist kit. Because I actually want to see what this car can do on like a <laughs> AR-12. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's hop into an event and see what it can do. Now, most hypercar events are notoriously long in this game. So that is why I am going to choose one which has a decent length. But it's also a good test of speed, handling, and just basic all performance. So I've maxed it all out. We're already at the top. Oh, God, the green. What do you mean failed to join an event? You will play alone. I'm only on my own, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, okay, that's some lovely ass weirdness. I am liking that titanium tip. Because, let's be real, if you're going to test this, you might as well max out the parts. And uh, unlike a <coughs> Nick, <coughs> I actually play this game for fun because I do like it and I don't get paid to play it. Because me and my good friend Savvy, who you should give a follow, he is a fantastic friend of mine. He is the crew to guru who puts many, many hours into this game of testing, tweaking tuning and doing all his wonderful stuff which i don't give him enough credit for so go and show him some love down in the comments he told me that this yesco has very good handling with the right setup obviously but the speed dies at about 270. now the biggest missed opportunity which i forgot to mention customizing Whilst I'm actually ripping it through these S's, this is a very good handling, it's good handling so far. You know, he said to me that because there's no absolute kit varying, i.e. you can't remove the massive, basically parachute shaped wing at the back, it drastically decreases the top speed from 300 to about 270. That's where this car likes to sit at 270. Now, most cars can hit 270 in this game, in the hypercar class, but it's how fast it can actually recover. Like, oh God, that was a good dive in right there. And I love the active aero. But I don't know, the Carrera GT can happily sit in the 290s without breaking a sweat. Although I say that and we're already up to 250, which isn't exactly slow. Oh my god! And the brakes are fantastic! Now, don't get me wrong, this thing, if you haven't got the discount with the Season Pass or the Deluxe Edition, is 2.7 mi- FUCK! This thing without the season pass or the deluxe edition i don't know which variant it is don't hold me to it it is 2.7 million if you have it's 2.14 it's still a hefty chunk of change but my god does it handle so freaking well it handles so well across the line in 241 now Anyone who knows that track is three minutes for the average player is quite hard to crack under for the average player. So let's actually go to a longer straight and see what it can do. So now that we're on a decent set of 
Well, straight. I'm gonna see what this thing can actually do. So, oh, mind the rock. Mind the road, Fox. Right, we're already at 220. Give it a little bit of juice to help it up there. Right, there's 260. 270. It does hold the speed very well. Bit of boost! 297, come on! 298! 299! No! No! Okay, I take it back. It really does get up there with the Nitro Chemist kit. It really does get up there and... Oh, fuck! So, I will say this. It's a very, very competent at holding its own. I will have to dig and play around with this thing a lot more. If you've got any suggestions or comments for me to do that, you know, leave it down in the comment section down below. And who knows, your idea could become a reality because I do like, I love this game. I know I'm branching out into different games and you're loving it, but at heart, I am a car guy. I love cars. I love messing, tuning, racing, and just having a good time. But anyway, though, this has been your look at the customization and performance of the brand new Koenigsegg Yesco in the Inner Drive update from the Crew 2. I have been your host, Mr. Gage. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may well be. Goodbye, my friends.